said, hey, so I wanted to do a quick video about uh, baggage allowance in the airport because this is something I've had issues with and I'm sure a lot of travelers as well. So I'm just getting through security with uh, my foolproof plan. Hasn't failed me yet after a few times, but of course it could go wrong. But this is uh, definitely what I would recommend for people trying to, you know, make the baggage allowance when they're coming into the airport because a lot of uh, low-cost carriers are gonna be like oh only seven kilos or 15 pounds or something like that for carry-on you know can only bring one piece uh, and one personal item and they have the measurements and they have everything so I'm sure everybody's dealt with that and check baggage on the low-cost carriers can be super expensive as well so uh, if you can get by with just the carry-on like you save tons of money in the long run so just wanna kinda show what my setup is so I got one backpack which is normal and usually I have uh, another bag that I keep with me but it's very collapsible it's like a duffel uh, but I'm just gonna show you guys kind of like what I do I'll try to set this up here a little bit cool so like I said here's my backpack right now it weighs exactly seven kilos so I use the 55 usually and uh, just get all the heaviest things out of it and uh, just keep in, you know, the things that are too big that you can't really move around. They kind of have to stay in the backpack. They're light, take up a lot of space, but they're not too heavy. And something that a lot of people don't know is that a lot of airlines will allow you to bring, like, food. And they don't consider it uh, the same weight or consider it baggage allowance. So I usually have, like, a plastic bag with, like, tons of stuff in it. So this is, like four kilos right here of like snacks and water but sometimes I mix in like power bank or like maybe you have an extra phone or uh, like some I don't know USBs or whatever some heavy items you can kind of put in the bottom here and then on the top if you just have like food like you know I've got like different tofolk different snacks and stuff so I've got like nuts and granola bars and things like that so if people ask and they just say, oh, this is just my lunch, you know, I'm just going to snack before I get on the flight. And almost every airline will not have any issues. You know, for years I've been doing that, and nobody has ever stopped uh, snacks from going through. Like, yeah, the low-cost carriers, you're not allowed to eat on the flight, but if you have uh, a bag with food, you can kind of hide, like, a few heavy items underneath that. And I always keep it in, like, a plastic bag, so it looked like I just went shopping to get like a lunch or some food so it's just a little bit uh, I don't know less official and just kinda looks like a casual like oh I just got this whatever so that's like the one trick I would recommend everybody to do uh, just bring some food on the flight and just hide the heavy things in the bottom so the second thing that I've been doing which you know isn't like maybe uh, the most you know unique thing in the world but it's this stupid vest that I have so you know they sell travel vests um, all around and they're really expensive but if you just get like some type of vest that has like loads of pockets like this is some like old man's fishing vest and you know you look at it on me it doesn't look so bad but this thing has got like pockets like inside like double pockets here you know this is like a long pocket so you know inside here I've got like all my toiletries my toothpaste stuff like that, deodorants because that weighs a lot. I got like my charger, things like that. Um, just anything that's gonna weigh a lot, just shove into this type of vest. I even got like a fat things of vitamins. I mean, that's like, that's like 500 grams right there, that amount of vitamins. So, you know, you're keeping that in your backpack and you get that weighed, you're gonna have an issue. So this vest has like an enormous pocket in the back. So you can see it's pretty lumpy and if somebody did look from the back, they'd kind of be like, what the heck, why is your back so lumpy? But inside back here, you know, it's got loads of my stuff, like my extra toiletries, my shaver. I can put my uh, tent posts, my tent poles, because I am camping. And I got my hammock straps that have got metal rings on them, so I shove those in there. Uh, you know, extra power banks, uh, maybe just... You know, put your phone in there instead of in your main backpack, and that's going to, like, cut a lot of weight. So, you know, for people that are trying to think about, you know, how to get extra stuff on the flight, there's, you know, pretty much three foolproof ways, I would say. 
And uh, the last one is just wear all your clothes. So that one's kind of obvious. I think a lot of people have dealt with that before. Um, just put on everything that you have. Like put on three pairs of socks. Choose your heaviest shoes to wear. And if you've got another pair, keep them inside your bag. And uh, put every shirt on. Put like if you got two hats, put those on. If you got headphones, put those on. Anything you can attach to your body. Uh, it may look a little bit unnatural, but nobody's really gonna question that. So I figure that it works really well. So you know, first cover your body, long sleeves, five layers, put your jacket on. It's gonna be hot for like 30 minutes doing this because maybe you gotta wait in the check-in line and that's annoying. But they pretty much just ask your bag. So they're gonna notice this is a big backpack and they're just gonna think that's gonna weigh a lot and they're just gonna zone in on that. But I took all the heavy things out. I only kept the big light things inside here. So it weighs seven kilos, about 15 pounds. And then this, you know, this is where all my weight is at in this vest. So this ridiculous vest that looks kind of dorky, of course. But, you know, you can find these things at like secondhand shops, thrift stores, whatever. Look how much bulk I have in here. I've got like an extra raincoat in there. And like, you could even put like some of your clothes in here if you wanted to. But I got like a pair of binoculars in here as well. And like, you know, just like all my cords because, you know, that stuff adds up. So, you know, the, the vest with lots of pockets, and if you got pants, pockets, and your jeans, put everything in those. And your second layer of pants, put everything in those. And if you got a pair of shorts, put in the pockets of your shorts. You can even sneak stuff in your socks if you want to. I mean, just like get everything on your body, and you're not going to have the issue. So, you know, in some airports, I see people like throwing away their clothes, like throwing away nice jeans, throwing away extra pair of shoes, something like that. And I'm just thinking, why are you throwing that away, man? Just put that on your body. Put your three pairs of jeans on and you just cut like a kilo of weight. No problem. So yeah, get the ridiculous vest like this or just get like even even pants that got ridiculous amounts of pockets because people never question it. So, you know, the lunch as well. Like do the lunch. Like I'm telling you guys, this is like five kilos of like some snacks. But like I hide some stuff in the bottom, you know, I hide like maybe some jewelry or like, uh, you know, maybe you got some extra bag, like fanny pack thing, or maybe you got too many coins. Don't, you know, forget about coins weigh a lot. So that's going to add up as well. Uh, all the liquids are going to weigh a lot as well. So just do all that and get it all in there. Hide it in here, hide it in here and get it all over your body and you're going to get through guys. So, you know, that's my tips for baggage allowance and if you got any more like super great ideas for that, I would definitely love to know because I'm traveling all the time and backpacking and I always take carry on. I never check in bags. I always find a way to get the minimum price because that's what you got to do when you're backpacking. You can't be checking bags all the time. And just don't bring too much stuff, guys. Like a lot of people I see with like a 75 liter pack, 85 liter pack, 55 is all you need. Just put everything in there. If it doesn't fit in the 55, Get a small little bag on the side, like I've got a small duffel bag that's like, you know, like a 10 liter, bat small, day pack, whatever, and just use that, you know. So don't overpack, but if you did overpack, get it on your body, get it in the lunch bag, and get it in the crazy stupid vest. But yeah, that's my tips, and these tips apply to Air Asia mostly, because they're the sticklers around here. But not every airport's gonna get you on it, but if, if they do, and you're not prepared, we got like 50 bucks for like a check bag sometimes. So hope these tips help you guys out for your travels. Keep traveling, keep wandering, and just enjoy the world. So thanks for watching my video. Subscribe for more travel tips, travel hacks, all that kind of stuff, travel adventures. I would definitely love it. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and keep on traveling.